CCTV News gathers information from town meetings and events, departmental updates, and COVID-19 here in York County and Berwick. BCTV News will be shown daily at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. on Comcast channels 95 and 22, as well as streaming at www.berwicktv.org. It will also be available on demand and via our YouTube channel. Every October, the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation honors fallen firefighters at the National Fallen Firefighters Memorial Park in Emmitsburg, Maryland. This is a tribute to firefighters who have died in the line of duty during the previous year. On Sunday, October 4th, the lives of 82 firefighters who died in the line of duty in 2019 and 21 firefighters who died in previous years, including Captain Joel Barnes, will be remembered during America's Tribute to Fallen Firefighters online at 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. BCTV has requested permission to air the service for our viewers here in Berwick. The National Fallen Firefighters Foundation also sponsors an annual Light the Night for Fallen Firefighters. Landmarks and fire departments across the country will glow red in respect of fallen firefighters and their families. The Berwick firefighters asked if the Memorial Bridge in Portsmouth could be lit for this event and the request was granted. On Friday, October 2nd, the Memorial Bridge will be lit red 30 minutes after sunset and remain lit until 30 minutes before sunrise. They hope you have an opportunity to see the bridge and remember Captain Joel Barnes as well as the other firefighters who have died in the line of duty. Hey everyone, my name is James. I'm here today representing Envision Berwick. Um, last year, over the last uh, year and a half or so, we unveiled Berwick branding and we have some cool uh, clothes and other merch to share with you today. The uh, reason why I'm here is I noticed, um, you know, it's getting really cold out lately and we've got some really comfortable sweatshirts with the town of Berwick branding. Uh, this sweatshirt here, they're, um, they're 28 bucks. We got sizes for just about everybody. Super soft on the inside. They're great for wearing around the house. Um, again, the, the green is uh, part of the, the Berwick's branding. We also have the, the sweatshirts in gray, which are a little bit more rugged on the outside, kind of like a Carhartt feel, still soft on the inside. And we also have uh, t-shirts, and these t-shirts are also super soft and comfortable. Um, and these are $15, $15 for adults and $12 for youth. And that's the same for the, the orange, which is the other color for the, for the branding. And then we have the uh, concert um, t-shirt with all the sponsors on the back who helped sponsor last year. And last but certainly not least, we've got baby onesies. And we've got, it, got a size for uh, all the way up to one year and beyond. And um, yeah, we have coasters and stickers. So if, you, uh, if you're interested, you can give me a call at the town hall at extension uh, 124, or there's a website, berwickmain.org slash community slash shop dot php. Thanks, have a great day. Work at the public safety complex continues. Interior finishes are ongoing in the police and fire station and should be completed shortly. There have been delays due to the pandemic causing supply and personnel problems. The exterior site work is nearly complete and Salmon Falls Nursery is working on the landscaping. The adjacent land is being cleared of brush and small trees. Much of the undergrowth is invasive plant species, and we hope to suppress the spread of them. Road work continues with the town crew finishing up the roadside maintenance before the winter season. Logan Street will have the final coat of paving placed in the next week. Reclaiming Little River Road has begun and will continue next week. Paving will be done by early October. Berwick Community TV made the Weekly Sentinel. We partnered with the Berwick Police 
in the Burke Public Library to produce Ask an Officer. Raina Keem, graphic artist and art director for the Weekly Sentinel, contacted us at the beginning of the week asking about the program. Berwick Public Children's Librarian, Shiloh Field, came up with the idea and then asked for our help. Chief Town thought it was a great way to communicate while staying safe during the pandemic. It is simple and we look forward to additional questions from children in the area. Send us your video question in 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 landscape format and we will hand it off to the Berwick Police for an answer. Then we will put questions and answers together for all to enjoy. Email videos to bctv channel 22 at gmail.com or email questions to to sfeel at the Berwick Public Library.org. All videos of children must be accompanied by a signed release form. You can find the form at www.berwicktv.org. Click on the forms in the left bar. Children's first name only will appear in the video. BCTV would like you to join us in creating a Halloween in Berwick video. Residents in Berwick may send BCTV a picture and or video of their child or children in their Halloween costumes. We will also accept pictures or video of your carved pumpkins or outdoor house decorations. BCTV will put these pictures and videos together in a collage, add some spooky holiday music, and post to our station and online for viewers from all over to see. Send us your video or pictures by October 23rd, and we will do the rest. Send to bctvch22 at gmail.com. Please take the picture or video in landscape format using HD settings if possible. BCTV requires that any pictures or videos, which include children, must be accompanied by a signed release form. This form can be found at www.berwicktv.org. Please let us know if you are interested in a complimentary copy of the video for sharing with your family and friends. From the Berwick Town Report for the year ending March 1st, 1877. The front page of the report has margin notes written in pencil by R. Clark. It has a date of March 18th, 1877 with a note of a snowstorm and cold weather. Also from the front page, the printer E. Fernald from Great Falls, New Hampshire, now Summersworth, proudly proclaims his steam-powered printing press. There were two large projects undertaken that year. One was the building of the Great Falls Bridge connecting Berwick with present-day Summersworth. The other project was the building of the Joshua Heard Road and Bridge. Present-day Berwick does not have a Joshua Heard Road, so that is a bit of a mystery. Some things that would be self-explanatory for the people at the time may need more context in modern times, such as a $24 bill paid to the Tibbetts brothers for powder and expenses for blowing ice, possibly for an ice dam on the Salmon Falls. On the income side, it appears that a circus came to town regularly in June according to the records. One notable entry on the income side was $562.68 received from the town of North Berwick from an award of the county commissioners. COVID-19 for this week. York County continues to see a rise in cases. The 25th of September report includes 1,141 cases with 1,013 confirmed and 128 probable. There have been 95 hospitalizations and the death of 15 people. 
There are 938 recoveries. Berwick also saw a rise in COVID-19 cases. The numbers for today are 21, and last week it was 17. BCTV News is a recap of meetings, events, and town happenings. If you have a news item that you think we should cover, send your request to bctv at berwickmaine.org. BCTV is completely funded through franchise fees from Comcast. We are a nonprofit entity and we are bound by the rules established for public access stations by the FCC. Berwick residents who subscribe to Comcast may watch our public educational videos on Channel 22 and our government meetings, departmental, and informational videos on Channel 95. Both channels run 24-7 and are streamed at www.berwicktv.org.